What's up guys? Chemists, along with Party Poison for Meanwhile in the Man Cave. And today we are unboxing something a little different. It's a Egyptian god, Osiris. Now, from what we were looking up, Osiris is, well, became the god of the underworld, right? Yeah. After he was killed by Seth. Yep, drowned in the Nile and then dismembered. Yep, and he was killed because he was fooling around with Seth's wife. And Seth got a little PO'd. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then uh, somehow he was, uh, now we've read two different things that his wife, Isis, yep, uh, had uh, brought him back to life. And another one said Anubis, not really brought him back to life, right? But kind of Anubis reassembled him oh. and then, you know, he descended into the underworld and became the lord of it. Yes. And then it, during that process in Isis's story, they said that she uh, did like the first embalming procedure. Ah, uh, I don't know why he. Part of the reason maybe he became god of the underworld. Maybe. Yeah. And then the other thing, what was the other thing? It was like fertility or something like that, too? Or, um, or agriculture? Osiris did agriculture. He taught people how to do agriculture. Okay. And he created laws and stuff. Ah. And like, well, that's interesting. One of the main reasons, I had been looking at these for a while, and one of the main reasons that I finally decided to pull the trigger on these, besides the fact that I got a really good deal, because uh, of something to do with. Um, but uh, there's a figure coming out from Hot Toys that's going to be related to these that I think they'll go really well with. Okay, so inside here, there's two different boxes, and I don't know what they they're about, but we're about to find out. Looks like just a plain styrofoam piece. And well, it's probably got something in it, right? Yeah, but it's weird that looks like this would be big enough to have the whole figure in, unless this is like a display box or something. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, they can see me. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. So this is the uh, black version. Pretty ominous looking box. Not a lot of art on the sides, or even on the front for that matter, but kind of less is more kind of thing, maybe. Oh, and this is probably the oh, bigger, so. Oh, yeah. There's the art. Oh, okay, for all you guys out there, you know, there is a choking hazard, so don't put these pieces in your mouth. <laughs> Thank goodness they put that on here. I know how tempting it is. I know. But don't do it. <laughs> Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start in the mystery box here. Let's see what's in here. The mystery style bomb. So, now, if this is the first, this is a tea bleak, I think, is the name of the company. Oh, actually, there's some more. There we go. Oh, it's the stand. Ah, oh, it's pretty cool, too, it looks like. Yeah, it's got its little face. Someone's little face. Yeah, this is the stand. Now, this is the first tea bleak figure that we have at all. Which is. Very nice uh, stand, it looks like here. Like, that seems to be like a resin of some sort. Don't eat the uh, tea. They don't actually things. kill you. <laughs> oh, how do we know that? I found out. <laughs> Hopefully not by eating it. But <laughs> oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Kind of like smashed pottery and stuff on here, which is interesting. Huh. I like the colors. Yeah. You can't really see them well on camera. Yeah, it's a little hard to. But there's like reds and stuff, purples. Yeah, with the shades. Pretty deep. I like it. And on the back is a receptacle for the stand. So this looks like this is a wired type stand, which I've seen some of these with our um, with our uh, hot toys. And it pulls apart. Should grab on there, and oh, and it's threaded, so this doesn't stick in. That's actually kind of good because a lot of the hot toys ones, they're just held in there by pressure or whatever. Where this is more or less just oh, by. Just gotta be kind of careful where you where you start the threading. I think. All right, getting to the meat and potatoes of this whole thing here. 
So where this is okay. So this opens up. This so, and then you know what? Just in case the one ain't falling out. Slide this open. And oh this comes off completely. Ooh, it's magnetic. Yeah. So these these T bleak bodies, from what I understand, are seamless, which is I really like. Yes, okay, super flexible, seamless body, which I, I really like because a lot of the hot toys you can see the seams in them, which I'm not real crazy, except for I have one of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Commando with his arms. They don't have any joints in them, which is perfect. That's why I usually choose to buy the figures that have hidden seams with, like, with their clothing and stuff like that. So, pretty cool. But anyway, oh, oh this opens up. Lower arm horror gently, do not do much. Okay, it gives you the do's and don'ts and posing and everything. So, these are packed in there really nice with all the foam. All right, here's his head. All right, yeah, these are packed, oh wow, he's got hoof feet. All right, let's get him out. The body's actually pretty hefty. And I wonder if he's got like a steel armature or something on the inside of him. Kind of like a lot of those, what are the artist bodies? I think, you know, when you're for drawing. Do those have like a wire frame? Um, like when you're doing, like for anatomy and stuff like that, when you're doing, you're the artist here. Yeah, but like, are you talking like clay figures? No, the ones that you do usually like they were, I don't know, they have like a wire armature on the inside of them for posing and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Little pose dolls. Wow. Yeah, that's metal up here. Yeah, these feel like they're made out of a lot of metal. Okay. I like the musculature and everything on here. And it's it actually feels rubber. Oh! It squishes. It is. It's squishy. Oh my god, it squishes. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. So that's actually really cool. I like his belt. Yeah. I like the colors they chose on it. Pretty neat. And the beetle. Oh, yeah. I know the, the snakes. Scarab. Yeah, yeah, the scarab. Brett hates scarabs. Yes, yes. I know the snakes represent something because um, maybe that's Horus. So I don't know. Something. I read something about snakes. Symbols going up across the thing. I don't know what they mean, but... I... I used to know hieroglyphics. I also used to know how to read Greek yeah. in middle or elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty neat. All right, so you can feel all the joint. There's a lot of that in here. Yeah, a lot of pivot points. I like it. Oh, well, that's see, interesting. Yeah, he poses really naturally. I like it a lot, actually. So by seamless it meant it, you can't like see the joints. You can't see them at all, which I really like that fact. Because then you can have it and it just doesn't look, it gives it a little more life like, oh uh, yeah, there aren't, there's a lot of motion in here, motion in here and it's They probably use um, ball. Joints inside? Yeah. Uh, but you just gotta feel where they are though. Cause you can't see them. So it makes it a little hard to. They even got the veins on there. Yeah. All right, and then there's different, if I just stand him on his own here. Yeah. Well, actually, he stands pretty easy considering his hooves don't have a huge footprint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but there's a lot of, so you've got your miscellaneous armor here. This is apparently leg armor. That's nice markings on those too. Really cool. And some shoulder armor in here as well. Oh yeah, those are, oh that's really cool. Let's get the Ankh. Yeah. And then goat symbols. In there. I think that's what those are. Mm-hmm. It should be the same with the other one. Actually it's just a little yeah, it's the same. The other side. Get to some faux fur. Like scribbles. Oh, 
Okay, so if you look on his shoulders, his little snaps. And on the outside here, that's the entry point for those, so they must just go in there and snap into place, which we'll mess around with that. But it doesn't look good on there. Let's see wrong. All right, we'll mess around with that a bit. Let's get his head on now. Yeah. <laughs> Arguably his most, most important, important part. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. That's awesome. Look at his eyes. I know there's a reason for the snake being on his hat, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, okay. It's a cobra. Let's see the angle on it. Pretty awesome. Horns. The piercings. Oh yeah, he does. I didn't even notice that. Do they, do they move? Uh, they do. Nice. Yeah, they're actually a separate piece. They're not molded. Really cool. Oh, and he's got multiple earrings on the other side. And his ears are pointed. Yep. Uh -huh. That is really wild. Now I want to do some sort of Egypt, like uh, Egyptian diorama with these guys, which would be cool. Maybe uh, I think we'd have to kind of make it up, maybe with some, you know, some wood and maybe some, you know, stone paint or something like that. Would be pretty cool. Like Sounds like a good. lot of effort. Well, may not be too bad though. You know, get some pillars and stuff. Maybe I can get you to paint some hieroglyphics on it or something. <laughs> oh, My wow. hand is too shaky for that. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Maybe we do it with stencils. Maybe. That's pretty awesome. He seems very tall too. And again, I don't know if all the uh, T-Bleak figures would be that kind of height. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a uh, tape measure. Let's give him a little measurement here. All right, so <laughs> we messed around with this a little bit. Uh, one thing that was very challenging is putting these leg arm, this leg armor on. Now he has more stuff. We don't have everything on him right now, but we just wanted to put this on. So we had to take the feet off, first of all. Well, we wouldn't have if we'd started the way we thought, but we took the feet off and tried to slide these armor pieces on his leg. Because they were like connected at first. Yeah, and that was like proving to be impossible. And even when you did get them out, they were sitting too low, and then the hair down here wasn't even coming out. So they were kind of connected on the back. We clipped them, honestly. There was a little tab on the back, and we clipped it, and so we could slide them onto his leg. You can kind of, I get, can you see what the top was? Yeah. yeah, it was right here. But honestly, that, that got them into a better position. Maybe there was a better way to do that. We don't know. It's to to me this is it's fine. But this figure is really tall. Just to give you an idea. So here you go. He's 14 plus, really. About yeah, a little over 14 inches high. Whereas the average Hot Toys figure is about 12. So this he's an imposing figure. Pretty cool. Um, before we got going, there was multiple hands you can put into. So I am going to switch him out. I don't think I'm just going to have him with fist hands. But <laughs> fist hands look uncomfortable. Yeah. So the hands look pretty good too. There's subtle little textures and everything in that. It's hard to see on camera, but give you an idea. And there's actually more to this too. I didn't realize, but we'll take this out and show you. That's another hand. Now, some, you've got some grip hands and things like that, and we will find out what he's going to need to be gripping because that's going to be in underneath the foam that we have right here. So, we'll lift this up. And you you got the hand. Another, oh, yep. <laughs> that one out. Those go right through. There's yet another layer, and here we go. Oh, I like the staff. Yeah, he's got a staff. Shield. A shield and... 
Do you think uh, that's another shoulder plate? I don't know. I think it might be a shoulder plate that goes under the one. Have you ever seen like medieval armor? Oh, you're right. Yeah, so it's layered. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. And there's the shield. Really cool. You got two cobras and... Looks kind of like a vulture. Yeah. Yes, you got some hieroglyphics on the side here. Yeah. Looks like that'll actually, you know, and what's really cool here, it's it might you might not be able to see it on camera, but it really gives it like a does a bronze. There's some subtle shading on there, and it makes it look like this is like a bronze shield. It's actually plastic, but it does give the impression that it's made of metal. Now this would probably be as. Oh, it doesn't even. It doesn't even have the seam this seam time. Seam on this one, so this ought to be fun putting on his, putting this on his arms. <laughs> yep. Well, we'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> um, and yeah, like you said, this is probably like the layered. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh. Oh yeah, that would make sense if it's his. Yeah, yeah. So it goes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. His shoulder. Weird. All right, we'll have to look on it. And they, the bad thing is, is they don't give you any kind of instructions how to do this. I've seen, unless they're buried in here underneath. They might be. Maybe you should lift the. Uh, yeah, the last bit in here. There's some more surprises. Not actually inedible. Oh, oh, oh wow! There's more. Well, no, I don't think it's. Is there more? Oh yeah, yeah there's there more. Is. Okay. Well, let's look under here. It just keeps You're going. Crap. It's just like a. Ooh, a cool little sword. Oh wow. And he's got a cape in here. That's a crazy long staff. Wow, that is awesome. Look at that. It's the size of Brett's Harry Potter wands. Yeah. Pretty freaking cool. Yeah. And a sword. How are you going to display all this? Where he's gonna choose what he's gonna display, I guess. I mean, what he's gonna hold. I, I'm thinking the staff myself. Which uh, one? Oh, yeah. oh wait. This, this, oh, this is one. this is okay. So it goes together. Oh, well, that's Ooh. cool. Huh. It's even bigger. Yep. Look at that. So, you know, he's at 14 inches. <laughs> it's, the staff is significantly taller than him. Yep. So that ought to be, that ought to be fun. But this is such a cool fixture that I think this would be the thing to have him holding more so than the sword. Now, we've got all this foam. We've got a Is cape. it like a cape? It is. A cape. This is fabric. This that chrome. fur is super soft, by the way. Yeah, and there's it, it, there appears to be a. I don't know if it's posable. Wire. It is, so it's posable. So there's a wire in here, so you could kind of like get this flexed any way you'd like it to flow. So it could be look like you could make it appear like that it's getting blown in the wind or something like that when you have it set up. But pretty cool. This thing has a ton of peripherals. Now let's just make sure there's no directions underneath here. And there's nothing. Okay, that is it. We are at the end of the line here. So now, with no instructions, we've got to try to figure out how all this crap goes on here. I guess we can look on the box here. So, I guess you could have him holding the staff and the okay, shield. Okay, so it doesn't show it later, so I don't know where that goes. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe something to do with it. Maybe that has to do with the cape. But he has the cape on here. I really do not know where these will go. Maybe on his hips? 
Oh, absolutely, you are right. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Oh, good call. So it's like a belt. See it? If you look, there's a buckle. A working buckle. Yeah, good luck in your big meaty claws to work that thing. Yeah, that's why we have your little hands here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's okay. Well, you got our work cut out for us here. Some assembly required. Some. <laughs> I also don't understand how any of these are a choking hazard because why? Why would you put them in your mouth? <laughs> yeah, well, I did. All right. So we've got all the crap on him. And it was a major pain in the butt. I don't even know how long it took us to get the stuff on, but when you get his, his hands, when you're putting those on, it was, we kept having, you know, we tried to put his weapons in his hands and then you'd have his hands pop off. And Probably because we didn't put them on well enough. Yeah, it's, it is challenging. It's just how they go on there and then you've got the, you know, the fur from his gauntlets on there and everything. And then you'd have a hand pop off after you got him, you know, in order. But there's so much, you know, so many different bits and pieces. So, honestly, it very much helps to have a second person <laughs> putting stuff on this character. Very satisfying figure though, but just be prepared that it is going to be a pain in the butt putting his stuff on. We put the sword on him to show you, but honestly... It's not worth the aggravation. <laughs> yeah, we chose to go with the staff and the shield. Very ominous looking figure though. Which I guess is appropriate. I mean, I'd look pretty PO'd if I was dismembered. drowned and dismembered. Yeah. Would not be a happy, happy camper. There's his face. Now, it's probably pretty much the pose we're gonna leave him in. <laughs> Because uh, kind of did it so the cape was kind of like blowing wind. The stand is another thing too. Uh, it's taller than he, almost as tall as he is. Yeah. So it's hard. Yeah. So yeah, we're in where they have the gripper on it. It's kind of really have to play with that too. But, you know, being this first T-Bleak figure, I, I very much like the modeling on it. I like the idea of no seams. Now, but it is hard to like snap the hands and feet in because the material that it, it's made out of is just very rubbery. So when you're pulling, you know, you're pushing on, you know, the, uh, hand or the feet to put it on there, there's a lot of give on the legs and stuff, so just be prepared for that. But overall, definitely really like this. Um, we got a couple more of these to do over the next few days. Any final thoughts there, Party Poison? It's a cool figure. Yeah. And we learned a lot about, actually, the uh, Egyptian gods when we uh, were researching this a little bit. And I didn't really know much about Osiris before this. So, lots of places you can look up online, get a kind of history of the, the mythology behind these things. There's also a mythology book that you can get at the library from them. Yeah, because you did what? The Greek gods and Norse I have gods? Norse, African American, uh, Native American, Celtic, Celtic. Yeah. Huh. And then I didn't get the Egyptian one because I couldn't afford it at the time. But it's by the same 
the same series or author, I think, as the Native American and African American ones. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to thank you guys for tuning in. Come back for our next episode of Meanwhile in the Man Cave. Talk to you guys later.